Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your reading for June. This is for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We are just going to see what comes up. This is for the month of June. Keep in mind, this is being recorded in May. It may not resonate at this time. It may not resonate at the beginning of June. It may not resonate at all. It may resonate at the end of June. It may resonate in the middle of June. It may or may not be for you. This is for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We're going to start off with an overall energy right here. Then we're going to use this deck. We are just going to see what do we have for Capricorn. This is my second reading. <laughs> I did one already, and it was a pretty good reading, but uh, the end didn't record... Uh, there's one card I did at the end and it cut off and I can't edit it. Um, so we're just going to do it over. So this card just fell out. The thinking woman. The thinking woman. We have a woman that is thinking. She's thinking, 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 thinking. Thinking as to whether she wants to keep reading this book. Whether she wants to keep being a part of this story, whether she likes this story, what 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 does she want to do? She want to read another book? What does she want to do? You know, is this should she just close this book? I mean, what what should I do? What should I do? So we have a woman here that is thinking about what she has just read. She may have read something that has really um, struck her in some way. You know, it's made her feel a certain way, and now she doesn't know. She doesn't know. She doesn't know if she wants to keep doing this, if she wants to keep reading this book, if she even likes this story, or, or what. You know, or she should choose another one. What should I do now? Now, she's read something that she doesn't like by the look on her face, which has made her think, okay? Now she's thinking. And, you know, I think she's thinking about a union because if you think about 7 plus 4, that equals 11. 11, you know, that's about union. It really is. So um, she's read something that has made her think, you know, what, it, what do I do next? What do I do next? Where am I going next? Do I even want to keep going? I mean, I don't know. And that's where she's at. She's like, I don't know. What did I just read? Now, this could have been a text. It could have been a message. It could have been something in a book. But she has read something. This woman has read something that has struck her in a way that has caused deep thought. Well, the tower, the tower reverse. This is a false sense of security. Somebody has been avoiding something, avoiding building a foundation, perhaps? Avoiding disaster, avoiding change. Somebody has been avoiding change for six of pentacles reversed. No reciprocation. Somebody hasn't been giving. They haven't been giving enough. They haven't been putting in a lot of effort. There could have been a rejection. Somebody has been avoiding something by not giving to a situation. The lovers. Imagine that. It looks like somebody's waiting. They're waiting for their lover to appear. It's like this is on the outskirts, okay? We have this, I think it's a, obviously it's a woman, could be a man, but it's like somebody's waiting, waiting for that arrival. Hmm. Now there's a choice. We have a choice here. And that's what she's, she's thinking about her options. She's thinking about the choices. Do I want to do I want to continue with this? Do I want to continue to give? Do I want to continue to give my energy to this? Somebody's been avoiding challenge. Great personal fear. I think she has read something. This is I'm telling you what. 
there's been some sort of conversation or message or information that has been delivered that is making a person think, a woman, I believe, it's making her think, is this, is this what I want? Is this the connection I'm looking for, you know? Is this my perfect match? Death, holding on to something and it's getting old. Somebody is holding on to a dead end and it's getting old. It is getting old. That's the meaning of the card. Resisting change. Again, both of these cards. We got somebody here that is resisting change. Avoiding, blocking their emotions, blocking the truth. Delaying the inevitable. There's overwhelming fears and worry. There is. Somebody is overwhelmed with fear and worry about a connection, about a love connection. About a choice, obviously. Somebody has to make a choice, and it's like a painful choice. There's divided loyalty. They're stuck in the middle. It's like they have to choose one way or the other. And we have somebody here that is avoiding the challenge. They're avoiding the change. You know, there's options. There's some confusion. We have somebody there that is in the process of making a very complex decision between two paths, two lovers, two options. That's what we got here. And we got this person that is avoiding. They're avoiding making this choice. There is an opportunity for love here. There's an opportunity for a relationship. There's an offer of love. There's a, a compassionate offer of love. There's, there's, it's a very sensitive time. Somebody is feeling very an intense emotion. And it's like they don't know what to do. They don't know what to do. There's an inner knowing. It's like their gut, their intuition is speaking to them. And it's like they're keeping their feelings a secret, keeping to themselves. I feel as though um, somebody is really just trying to gather their thoughts. We have somebody here that is, is really trying to let their intuition guide them. But there's, a lot of, there's still a lot of confusion. There's a lot of personal fear about following their intuition, about getting in a relationship of some sort. Somebody's holding on to a dead end. They're holding on to a false sense of security, resisting change, not giving to a relationship that could grow because of divided loyalty. It's like they have to make a painful decision and I think they've been avoiding it. Definitely avoiding making this choice because I think there was a connection with somebody that has failed or whatever and there's an opportunity for new love but they're, they're not taking it for some reason. There's an opportunity to work together with somebody, to collaborate, you know, but communication is needed. Um, somebody may be coming in to prove themselves, or you may need to prove yourselves. This is proving, proving, you know, somebody is coming to prove themselves, or somebody is needing to prove themselves. So there's an opportunity for a relationship here with somebody that is probably going to prove themselves or has proven themselves or is going to prove themselves. This is somebody where, you know, there will be an opportunity to work together. So you will have an opportunity to work with somebody, okay, somebody that will, you know, work as a team with you. But there's somebody that has been avoiding communication and avoiding a relationship Avoiding it like a soulmate connection because of, you know, great personal fear. Fear of change, you know, and holding on to a dead end. Somebody's holding on to a dead end and, you know, change is scary. Change is scary. So I feel like there's been some communication or there's been some sort of message, okay, that, that this woman has read and now she's thinking about closing this book or all together. You know, she's just like, is this, what, do I even want to keep reading this story? Do I even want to keep engaging in this? So I feel like we have somebody here, this woman that is really thinking about who she wants to work with. You know, what is the, what is the perfect match for me? We have somebody that is really thinking about, you know, her options. And I feel like we have this person that is, 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 you know, going to be taking action. This Knight of Cups is somebody is taking action 
you know, to communicate and prove themselves, okay? Because maybe they've said something. I don't know. Let's see. Yeah, there's been a conflict. There's been some sort of tension. There's also some competition here. There's probably some competition going back and forth. We have somebody that is reluctant to get into a relationship. They're reluctant. And I think that patience has been needed. Um, but it looks to me like... And this is a pretty big offer of love, and it's it's really close. It's really this person is really really looking at it. It's huge. It's a huge offer of love, and somebody is thinking about accepting it, and I think they're really close to accepting it, but they're reluctant to accept it because of fear. You know, and they're trying to. They don't want to get themselves into any sort of false commitment or false foundation. You know. But this is a, this is the lover's card is love heals. So this is an opportunity to heal. Um, this is a opportunity to you know come together with somebody that you could be meant to be with. Now this is follow your intuition. I think somebody's intuition is telling them that you know you ha it's time to make a decision. It is time you have to make this choice and face your fears. Oh, wow. King of Pentacles reversed. We have somebody here that is more focused on everything but love, not, not focused on a relationship. Somebody that is, you know, maybe this person is financially unstable and is going through some financial turmoil and has made some poor financial decisions and maybe they feel like they don't have anything to offer. Um, maybe they feel like they're not the best options. Maybe, maybe somebody feels like they're not the best option. Um... Somebody is going through some sort of midlife crisis where, you know, they're feeling lonely. They're isolating themselves. Um, maybe thinking that they're not they're not valuable enough. They're not worthy enough. You know, keeping themselves hidden. It's like somebody is hiding themselves from. Um, the outside world. We got somebody here that's in hiding. It looks like to me. But this is an offer of love. It's like God is offering you something big, a big, big, big offer of love. And I think that this person, this person sees it and sees how big it is. But this person, you know, is is reading as well, has been reading. This person has also read some things and is very well read and very intelligent. And, you know is trying to do the right thing, wanting to make sure that they, they are doing the right thing, not wanting to get themselves into any kind of unnecessary conflict. You know, I don't want to get myself into something that I can't get myself out of. So I feel like we have somebody here that has an opportunity for a relationship, and I think there is some sort of offer coming in with, from somebody that does want to work together, but it may not, it's not being accepted for some reason. It's seen, it is being seen, but it's not being accepted because maybe there's competition, maybe there's too many people, there's too many fingers in the pie, or there's too many other offers, or there's so many options here, because there is a lot of options with the Seven of Cups. Somebody has a lot of options, and they just don't know which one to choose. That's disheartening. Um, and temperance reversed. Yeah, so it's like somebody... is definitely going back and forth, going back and forth with, with, with their decision or their indecision. There's, there's a lot of disharmony. There's a lot of imbalance. We have somebody here that is probably frustrated with their need to make a decision. Maybe, maybe they're being forced to make a decision and they don't want to make a decision. You know, they're standing, they're being very stubborn. I feel like we have somebody here that... is having extreme highs and lows and they just really don't don't uh, it's like they aren't ready to make a decision that they have to make i gotta make this decision even though i don't want to make this decision because it's like they're being forced by the universe to make this decision 
it's time for a change and this is these are both i mean this is the, the universe is saying it's time for this change it's you can't avoid this change you have to stop holding on to this dead end holding on to this dead end is getting old that's this death reverse it's time for your new beginning it's time for your new life it's time for you to start over it's 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 time for you to get what you deserve it's time for you to receive it's time for you to be loved it's time for you to take action it's time for you to follow your heart it's it's time for you to deal with conflict it's time for you to you know work together with somebody it's some time for you to come out of hiding it's time for you to focus on everything else other than just your money and your job and your home somebody's been focused on everything but a relationship everything but love and there's and and it's not fulfilling them it's like they want love they desire love they desire this partner but they're not making the right choice So there's an opportunity. This is a blessing. There's an opportunity for wish fulfillment. There's, this is a this is an opportunity to bring peace. This is a blessing. This is an this is a, a time of hope, a time of inspiration, a time of healing. It's like your wish has been granted. It's like it's like heaven has granted some sort of wish for you. They have brought you a big offer of love. But some it's like somebody is not aware that. Whatever has ended has ended because you have this blessing waiting for you to take it, okay? So this is a blessing, but somebody is not, they're choosing to not change. They're choosing to not evolve. They're not letting themselves evolve. This is a blessing. This is a blessing. It's like you are, ble there's like a wish that is being granted. It's a big one, um, but somebody is just not seeing it. Refusing to cooperate. Which is causing the extreme ups and downs. This refusal to cooperate. But anyway, this is this is an offer coming in. A relation, somebody is wanting to have a relationship. This is somebody moving forward, taking action to follow their heart, to work together. They haven't been focused on a relationship at all. Somebody has put everything else above a relationship. Everything else. Okay, everything else has been more important than a relationship. When that has caused a lot of conflict in their life. It has. And it has probably caused, you know, when you love really needs to come first. And a lot of people, the majority, unfortunately, of the world do not realize this. Okay, they do not. When you choose love, everything else falls into place. It does. Somebody is, has had financial upheaval, okay? Financial upheaval. Six of Pentacles reversed, upheaval. They've had financial loss because they have been focused too much on their money. They have been focused too much on everything but love. And that the universe doesn't want that. God doesn't want that. whatever so anyway um yeah no wish fulfillment doing that <laughs> well anyway i feel like that that things are going to start to look up once you start focusing on emotional fulfillment more than money if you focus more on m emotional fulfillment your finances will improve anyway try it just do it anyway things looking up something think about it and wish for it if you wish for it whatever you're wished for i think it has it's it's arriving Okay, it's arriving, but I have to, I have to, I have to, and you may have wished for it subconsciously, not even knowing, okay? You can't put a name on it. You can't put a name on it. You can't wish for a person by name. It doesn't work that way. It doesn't, and people don't know that either, but whatever. They try it and whatever. 
So anyway, this is a wish being granted, both of these cards right next to each other. A wish is being granted. It's like the universe has brought you love. They have brought you new love. It's probably somebody that doesn't fit your usual type. This person does not look like your usual type. This card signifies that. This person doesn't, they, they don't, they don't, they're nothing like the last one. They're completely different. They're nothing that you would have ever suspected, okay? Um, it's, it's an unusual type okay but it's a perfect match it's like your wish has been granted but it's not through your egotistical eyes put it that way if I can't say it any better than that so anyway there's there's some sort of uh, there's there is there's a wish being granted a wish has been granted but it's like you you can't you can't see it you can't see it. Or you do see it with that. I seem to think that you see it, but you're not accepting it because you've been focusing on everything but love. And therefore, everything else is going downhill because you, love is supposed to really come first. And when you, when you prove, when you prove that love comes first, they will grant the rest of your wishes. But I know a lot of people don't believe that, and therefore, they continue to struggle for their whole lives. But whatever, that's not my problem. But anyway, um, there's an opportunity for wish fulfillment here if you could follow your heart. Follow your heart. Follow your heart. This is deepening a bond. Deep fulfillment is coming or has arrived. If you are single, you may have met somebody recently or you will be meet, meeting somebody that you have a deep, deep, deep soul connection with, with. This is like a gift. It's a blessing. It's like they have blessed you with a gift. Don't mess it up. Let go of your fears. This is an opportunity for a relationship that could grow into something extremely happy if you can let go of what has been holding you back and accept change. You've manifested this. You have manifested this. You have manifested some something this is like this is a gift this is this is like hey, this is like heaven down on earth they have given you like a heavenly gift accept it accept it anyway i think that you have manifested a new relationship you may not even have asked for it maybe you asked for it subconsciously through your tears or through who knows what this person is not who you think it is, okay? It's not your usual type. It's not. They don't look like your usual type. It's not. It's somebody that you didn't expect, put it that way. That's what this tells me. But it's a soulmate connection. It is. It is. The lovers is it's meant to be. It is meant to be. It's like your wish has been granted. Accept the offer. Help from above. I can't make it up, and you know that I can't. This is help from above. I don't know what I did in my book. You are loved beyond your wildest dreams. Your positive intentions and heartfelt prayers have been heard. Divine beings are working on your behalf to create the perfect circumstances for you to heal and open your heart. I could have told you. I already told you all this. There is a higher order in timing to all things. You are being asked to work on your self-worth so that you can receive your greatest good in the form of incredible love, life-transforming opportunities, healing, abundance, and divine inspiration. Keep asking for higher help and intervention in any area of your life. Then follow your intuition and lower your barriers. Let go of any notions of how. Divinity will bring about your deepest heart's yearnings. Remember, I told you, you can't put a name on it. They bring you what is meant to be. It may not be in the package you would expect, but it will be life-altering. I, I just, just, kind of just sum up everything I said. It's not in the package you expect, like I told you. It's, I can't. It's just, I can't make any of it up. Your heart is about to be challenged. Sorry, I had to cough. Your heart is about to be challenged to open wider than ever before. That may require you to feel some fear 
and pain. Do not run away from this experience. Take steps forward with faith that your greater good is coming. Do not run away from this experience. This is meant to be. Whoever this person is, they may not fit the description, but it is meant to be. Good luck.